Hi, my name's Hinda, and the library changed my life. A couple of years ago, I was given this family photo. Um, this is my great-grandmother. Her name was Clara, um, and this is her family. This picture was taken in 1923 in a town called Kalinovka, which is what is in what is now the Ukraine, but at the time was the Soviet Union. Uh, my great-grandmother came to Canada in 1928 uh, with my grandfather, who was nine months old at the time, and she never saw any of her family ever again. I wanted to learn their names to honor their memory. Um, and I knew that my great-grandmother had received a letter after World War II from the Red Cross letting her know that her family had been killed in the Holocaust. Um, so I knew that there had to be a record of them somewhere, um, but I didn't know where to start. And the library gave me that starting point. Um, I went in there one day just asking about, you know, if anyone knew where I could kind of begin my research. Um, and I started with Ancestry. Um, through Ancestry, I was able to find my great-grandmother's um, record of immigration, the ship manifest that she came over on. Um, that also had her hometown. It had some information about her parents. Um, and that led me to other um, historical archives um, where I was able to find a record of her family. I actually found my great-grandmother's sister, Celia, who is, she's here in, uh, in the back row of this photo, um, had survived the Holocaust. Um, and in fact, her son is still alive. We were able to contact him, great Auntie Esther, so Clara's, Clara's daughter, um, was able to meet her first cousin for the first time at 93 years of age because they came for a visit. It's one of the most impactful experiences of my life and I know that it never would have happened if it wasn't for the library. 